I got a sewing machine. So a couple weeks ago, I was actually cleaning out my closet, finding out clothes that I could donate and throw away, you know, stuff like that. But I actually ended up finding more clothes that I actually really like but I've worn so many times over again. But I, I think that they're still cute and I'm talking about I've worn this. I've had these clothes for years now already and I'm just like kind of want to throw them out but I don't want to go shopping right now because I'm broke. So, so I decided to go the cheaper route and actually try to reinvent these clothes. Um, and then I got a sewing machine. Let me tell you guys something, okay? I got a sewing machine to sew clothes for my dog originally because I got him during the winter as a puppy and I wanted him, I wanted to potty train him outside. So I made coats for him so he'd be comfortable because he's an Italian Greyhound and he doesn't have much fur. Um, that's why I got this sewing machine. Let me tell you what I did after. After I made his first of a mess cloth jacket sweater. That kept him warm. I didn't care too much about the style. Um, I decided I would then sew up a bunch of different things. I sewed up a toy, a handmade or like a cloth toy for Milo. I sewed up a bunch of shirts for Michael. That that was broken. Um, and then I just volunteered myself to basically sew an entire backdrop for my cousin because she's having a wedding. And I volunteered myself for it. Why, you may ask? <laughs> because I'm an experienced sewing person? No. Because I gained confidence. I gained confidence because I had a sewing machine. And now you will either watch me fail or prevail. So basically, I bought the cheapest sewing machine because I've so we've already established my theme is broke. This is the brother something something um, sewing machine. I got this at Walmart. And the shirt or dress we're going to be reinventing is super old. This is, I turned it inside out. So basically it's this long maxi dress I got a long time ago from Cotton On. And I really like it. Um, except for the fact that I thought these were like the common uh, deodorant stains, you know, that you get when you put them with deodorant on or when you're clothes kids or something. And I, I was like, oh, whatever, I'm just going to wash them. I washed this a lot of times. I washed the stains separately. I honestly think that I may have like, I don't know, leaned on or touched some sort of paint. So obviously that part is a no-go. I can't take this part off. But the front of this is still pretty much able to be saved. So that's what we're going to attempt to do. So what I want to do with this is I want to make it a bodysuit. I want to make uh, just, I want to keep the top and keep it into a nice little shirt. And maybe like put in a bodysuit at the bottom. So that I can wear it with like high waisted jeans or something. And dress it up or dress it down. Make it look super super cute. So basically, I'm following a tutorial I found on Pinterest, um, and it's just a bunch of pictures, and I don't know exactly who created it, because I didn't check the blog. But basically, they used a pair of underwear, so I'm literally just about to trace my own underwear. Oh, I forgot to put on my seamstress lady outfit. I don't know what this is actually going to be used for, but I feel like it fits with the video. <laughs> okay, I'm done. So basically, I did it, but this is a pretty snug material, so I'm gonna take my handy dandy, um, I don't know what this is, tape, and cut, like, maybe do like an inch outside of where I put my underwear. So that way I have, I can make, I can sew it up and make it all cute and clean or whatever. This is just common sense that I feel like is common. So, that's what I'm going by. I honestly didn't like think about the fact that hey, you know, maybe this this um this won't work out for you. Like maybe you're just not skilled enough to use a sewing machine. I didn't think about that. So if I screw up this body suit, there is no going back. Where's my scissors? 
the time has come for me to cut this. Ooh, I'm nervous a little bit. Okay, here I go. Okay, so this is inside out, so I'm basically just gonna go ahead and sew. And I really don't wanna hurt myself because I'm like, I'm genuinely a very big pussy. Like I'm just, I cannot stand any type of pain. I cry all the time, whatever. <laughs> so it, to me, just by eyeballing it, it looks super uneven, but that's okay. We're just gonna keep going. I just started taking jujitsu recently. So I thought, I would like it when I do like it, but let me just tell you, it's impossible to have a good hairstyle. If you're a female who does jujitsu, can you like tell me what kind of hairstyle? It's not about looking cute, it's about like not having your hair go everywhere all up in your face and whatnot because I don't like that. For me, what I'm looking for in a hairstyle is just like mimicking baldness for an hour and a half. Like, that's what I'm looking for because these dudes be like, trying to use your head as a mop and I actually have hair. So it's just like frizz and shockness and like, you just look and you just feel like you can't breathe with so much hair in your face. I do not appreciate that. Okay, so this is manually doing it. As you can see, it takes a long time and little, a lot of patience. Something that I don't have. Oh girl, my thumb already! Not made for hard labor. So basically, it also comes with this really cute thing. It's a pedal. That's right, a pedal. An electric pedal. So I can press on this pedal that's by my feet and it can actually do the work for me basically. But my only issue is, is I don't know how to do it straight, you know? So let's just see what Ooh, girl. See, that's not straight. Damn it. Look at how good I was doing. And then I jumped. So I'm all done! Sewing was actually um, smooth sailing. It wasn't too bad, so there wasn't too much to show versus me sewing. Of course, I regret the fact that I only have one white common thread. Let me show y'all. So you can see it didn't start off too bad. And then shabam, I escalated. And then here, I don't even know what's going on. Not too bad, not too bad. Oh, actually not too bad at all. Here, had a little hiccup. Here, oh, I guess I just missed an entire patch of fabric, but oh well, ew, look at my crusty nails. So last but not least, I have these sew on snaps that I got from Walmart. They should be easy. To use, I'm going to use the silver one. So they look like this. And they snap. Okay, so I can't actually use a sewing machine with this one. I have to sh have to sew it on. How does that work? Okay, so this is actually quite simple. So I'm actually going to go ahead and just finish sewing up the two snaps and then we'll see what it looks like. <sighs> like literally an hour and a half later, I'm here still. It's all finished and it all clasps together to make one whole bodysuit. Whoa. So that is going to be it. I actually had a lot of uh, fun doing this. So I might, maybe if you guys want to see more outfits, because I have literally an entire bunch of clothes over there that I still like, but have like rips or stains like this body, or by the black like, blue, like this dress.
Well, anyways, I had a lot of fun doing this. So, if you want to check out the full outfit, don't forget to follow my Instagram. And that is going to be all for today. But thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all that. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!